G'day guys. Today we're going to go through a, an exercise where we'll have somebody, Greg, making a statement. Then Greg's going to get a typical response back by someone who's trying to help. Um, and then we're going to just pull it all apart and examine it a bit more. These are a really good learning tool, um, these exercises. And I'll tell you why, because they help you start learning to identify losses and feelings. And when I've done these exercises with my volunteers, with my students, I find that virtually every time they're able to very easily identify what the losses possibly are and what the feelings possibly are. But and yet when they respond to the person, they very rarely incorporate any of those feelings or losses. And that's really what the trick of the pastoral conversation is. So let's get into this and we'll we'll have a look at how this works. Let me just share the screen. There we go. Okay, so we'll start. Okay, so here's the scenario. Greg is a good friend who you knew was going to see the doctor for what he hoped would be his final all clear visit. You had told him that you would ring him up that night and so you have. And after saying hello, Greg goes on, I could kill that doctor. For months he's been telling me everything's fine. And now he says it looks like cancer. I've got tests tomorrow, a scan the next day, and who knows what they'll do to me then. And the response, look, there's no use getting all worked up. These days they can just about cure anything. And from what I hear, Dr. Johnson is a mighty good surgeon. That's a pretty typical response from someone who's looking to make someone feel better. Okay, so here we go. Look, there's no use getting all worked up. These days they can cure just about anything. And from what I hear, Dr. Johnson's a mighty good surgeon. What do you think the likely impact of that response is and why? So this is a good place to just pause this video for a sec because you can see the questions. Ask yourself, how do you think Greg feels with this response? And then we're going to have a look at Greg's response, like Greg's original statement. I could kill that doctor. For months he's been telling me everything's fine. And now he says it looks like cancer. I've got tests tomorrow, a scan the next day, and who knows what they'll do to me then. So that's Greg's statement. Based on that statement, what do you think Greg's losses are? What do you think he's lost here? And what feelings do you think are possibly present? And which ones seem to be most clearly expressed? See? And then I want you to write a response to the above statement. So let's imagine you were Greg's friend. And when you spoke to him, he said to you that statement. How would you respond as someone who's trying to be empathic and understanding? Okay? So pause this video here. Answer those questions, and then we can go on. All right. So what do you think is the likely impact of the above reply and why? Well, I think Greg is not going to have any sense that he's been heard and understood because the reply is both a piece of advice and a correction to Greg's perspective, especially about the doctor. Greg has asked for neither. These are both fix-it statements. Okay, did you have something similar to that? What seems to be Greg's losses? His expectation that his health would be okay has been shattered. It would not be unusual for Greg to have a sense that his life that he was hoping to have has been ripped away from him. One could imagine that if Greg continued to groan, all of the basic loss types would be mentioned. Now, we've mentioned the basic loss types in previous uh, videos, and that was using the firm acronym, so the functional loss, identity losses, relationship losses, and the material loss. So I've no doubt that if I was to continue to listen to Greg share his story, all of those losses are going to be present. Three, what feelings do you think are possibly present and which one seems to be most clearly expressed at the moment? Well, the feelings that I got were anger, bitter, depressed, cross, 
disappointment, discouraged, disheartened, displeased, downcast, helpless, hostile, irate, vexed, worried. I mean, you can see them there, okay? And maybe from that, you can see that I have a list of feeling words because it's very useful to increase our vocabulary regarding feeling words, okay? But the most clearly expressed feelings are being irate, disappointed, frightened and worried. They're the feelings that came across to me most strongly in what Greg said. So how would we respond? Okay, these are some basic responses to Greg's losses. Not only all your plans have been put on hold, but you've lost the peace of mind that you've been feeling. Or time is so precious. And just when you think you can get on with your life, Bam, this happens out of the blue. Or it's so confronting to be basically told we were wrong, we don't know how serious this is. Okay? Based upon Greg's feelings, it's so disappointing after all this time to find out they were wrong all along. Or you're furious that the so-called experts were wrong about your health. Or it sounds like you've been very frightened about what this might turn out to be. Okay, so their responses, let me stop sharing now. Their responses that were based on responding to the losses and the feelings. So you see, you have the, the choice to respond. And of course, Greg's going to let us know what is the ultimate concern he has right now. He's going to let us know. But no matter which way we respond, Greg is going to get the feeling that he's been heard and understood. Okay, guys, remember my email, traumacompanions at gmail.com. It's at the end of some of the other verbatim exercises. Um, send me your responses. Let me know what responses you came up with. I'm happy to provide you some feedback. I'll give you some other exercises like this because, as I said, when we're learning the pastoral conversation, it's really important if we can start switching on to what are the losses being expressed, what are the feelings being respond, re expressed, and taking from either both or one of those positions and feeding a response back. All right, guys. Thanks very much. God bless.